When most people think of Burma, the first images that come to their mind are those of political prisoners, monks protesting, military dictatorship, and civil war. But there is another side to Burma that most of the world knows very little about. In fact, for many people, especially biodiversity scientists, parts of Burma are like the dark side of the moon, mysterious and unexplored. But due to over 60 years of conflict, scientists have never really had a chance to explore the rich biodiversity, wildlife, and cultural heritage of the Karen indigenous people living in southeastern Burma. This is a story of endangered wild elephants and the struggle of the Karen people to protect the forests of Karen state from the effects of civil war and unsustainable development practices. Karen state is located in southeastern Burma on the western border of Thailand. The Megatha forest is located in Duplaya district. This area is home to indigenous Karen forest farmers who have been living in harmony with their environment for hundreds of years. Their language, customs, and land use practices are common to both sides of the border. The Megatha Forest is biologically contiguous with the Tungyai Naraswan Wildlife Sanctuary in Thailand. This area is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and comprises one of the world's largest dry tropical forests. The Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary was established in 1989 by the Karen National Union. The Karen people recognized that this lush and dense forest was one of the few remaining areas still inhabited by wild Asian elephants. From 2008 to 2010, the Duplaya Wildlife Research Team, consisting of local forest officers, Kisan staff, and local Karen villagers, conducted wildlife surveys in the Megatha Wildlife Sanctuary. The objectives of this research were to collect information on the distribution and population status of wild elephants, promote effective conservation policy and practice, increase local people's participation and capacity with regards to conservation, and understand threats to the elephants and other wild species in the Megatha Forest. The research team used a multifaceted approach to their work, using both primary and secondary data collection methods, as well as incorporating traditional indigenous knowledge. Based on the team's observations, the wild elephant population in the Megatha Forest is estimated to be between 15 to 18 individuals. Group size can vary from 2 to 7 individuals. The majority of the wild elephants sighted were females, including a direct observation of one pregnant female seen here. No direct observations of tusker male wild elephants were made. However, tusk prints were found on elephant sleeping sites and on the barks of trees. The study area is a complex mountainous forest comprised of a variety of forest types, including lowland evergreen forests, bamboo dominant forests, mixed deciduous forests, and grasslands. There are many kinds of big trees here with the dipterocarp or tropical hardwood family being the most common megaflora. The trunks of these trees are at least one meter in diameter and emerging trees can be up to 40 meters high. The limestone hanging cliffs are used by the wild elephants for shelter and 